Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar Town Gaming. Today I am going to show you one of the easiest routes to farm in the Sean for Mother Sorrow. Now as you know, and I know, Mother Sorrow is pretty hard right now. It's a magic of DPS, best in slot, and a lot of people are using it. So why not, you know, in the time that you get to get a trials group together, or you're waiting on a dungeon to pop, or something, you know, you're waiting on somebody, you're kind of afk-ish but you know you're not doing anything why not just freaking do this so we are going to start now you can do this on pc on console xbox whatever but this is uh as you can see mournhold is right here this is the mournhold way shrine um we're gonna basically be going and taking like this kind of route um and like up to i think it's this one it's either this one or this one so it's gonna be like a little you know kind of route around one hold and up um so you start at the ghost snake veil wish shrine now when you do that what you do is you mark right here because that's going to be your starting spot so you can see and as you can see on the map it's just this little um like rocky area so that's going to be where you start now obviously you have map pins here so i'm going to see where the chests are and it's probably going to take you a couple of minutes um, and a couple of like run throughs in this where you're gonna get to know this route a little bit better But as you can see there's two chests here back to back So I'm just gonna do this while I'm um, you know doing this route for you Now one thing you can do um, is if you're doing this route multiple times after you're done and you come back to this way shrine um, You can actually leave this start marker right there and just be fine So we go to this next chest the good part about this is there's so many nodes in the meantime so if you feel like the chests are not spawning as big, then um, you can always pick up the nodes in between to kind of get to that point. So there's the third chest. Then we go across here will be the fourth chest. It's not here yet. And then we go back. And see all these nodes. You guys can actually pick up these nodes if, um, if you're not doing any, you know, or if you're the spawn rate is, is bad. So here's the fifth chest right here. And then you go across again. Six chest. And then there's obviously, you know, right here. And seven chests. So see how we got? Like, we just did this route. So we just did this route. And it'll be nice if we can get, like, an Infernal Staff um, out of here. But you can. You can get some nice stuff, like, even if it's for sticker books. So that's six, I think. Six chest. This is the seventh chest right here. And then you keep going. You can go across right here. Seventh. And you will come this way. And you'll hit the eighth chest. It will be right here underneath this tree. And then you keep going. The ninth chest is going to be right here. And then you go this way. As you can see, there's nodes everywhere. So if, you know, so this is the 10th chest right here, 10 chest, you keep going, you keep going, you're going to have to keep going, 10th chest, and then this is where it gets to like a little bit, um, there's a chest over there, I believe, um, but it's, it's on an event, so it's one of those like event chest things, so I don't necessarily deal with that, so that's 10, 11th chest right there. And then you take that corner, so you'll come out like through here, 11. And then in that waterfall, there's a chest, so that'll be your 12th chest. You come up here. You come up here. You hit number 13. It's somewhere around here. And then you hit 14 right here. Then you go across. Now there's a chest down here that likes like a that little island down there. There's a chest, so it's we're we're in chest 14. Um, that can be 15. You can choose to get it. You can choose to not. It doesn't matter. And then 15. So 15 and then 16. 16 chest. And then you keep going. 16. You keep going. You go here. And then right here, do a little jump so you don't get off the horse. 
70 chest right there and then you go through here like that so you don't aggro and then 18 chests up there you're not gonna aggro and then 18 19 and then somebody's always here doing stuff, but that's fine. And then here's the 20th chest, and then 21. Now after that, you can actually... Oh, and it, it is the Obsidian Gorge. That's what I thought. So after that, you're just basically finished. You're, you can go from Obsidian Gorge. So as you can see, we're up here. So we did this little route. So we went all around that. That is a big space cover. And you as you leave that marker, remember, just leave that marker again on that. And you're going to be able to just start over. And just keep going. Like I said, if you if you feel like the chests are not spawning like really quickly, then start picking up nodes. Like, just say, okay, you know, I'm going to pick up this node. And I'm going to start picking up nodes in this route. Like I said, you can actually do this as many times as you want. This is a nice chest route. It has like over 20 chests. So, like I said, it's it's pretty nice. So I'm just going to take you guys through the route again so you can kind of see where I go without, you know, counting the chests. Now, obviously, these chests are not going to spawn the whole time like that. But, like I said, there's all these nodes in between. So during, um, like, a farming event that, you know, you're getting double nodes or such... Like, this is a good place to, to do it in. So, this is a good place to, to go and farm while you're waiting for something and doing something that, you know, whatever. So, as you can see, this, this farm route is pretty easy. You can literally get on your horse and just be on your horse if you don't want to pick up the nodes. Or you can just go and, like, start um, walking or running. So as you can see, like, this is pretty easy, pretty, um, I just got a lot of chests through this route, so. That's why you guys are not seeing as many chests, because like, I literally just bumped them all. I was just making sure. See, there's another chest right here, and it's a master chest. Now, remember master chest from the other uh, video that I was telling you about? Sometimes these are the biggest trolls in the game. These are the biggest trolls. Do not... Oh my goodness, look at that. Infernal Staff of Mother Sorrow. See what I'm telling you guys? Like, it, it works. It works. It works. That is so nice that we got that on, on the video. So as you guys can see, like, it's it works. This is a great farming route. Now, I can't guarantee you that you're going to get an Infernal Staff of Mother Sorrow every single time. But hey, that's like 80, 90k right there. Um, depending on, you know, what kind of server you're on. But it, it works. This route works, folks. It's really easy and, you know, it works for, for everybody. Now, like, like I said, there's, there's a, sometimes there's a chest that's under here that you can, oh, there it is, that you can get. But you don't have to. You don't have to. Like, this is, this can be just a, you know, a chest. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, you can farm, you know, the, the dolmens and, you know, you can farm the uh, the public dungeon. There's so many people in that public dungeon, it's not funny because everybody knows about that. So everybody knows about the public dungeon and they're farming in there. So this is a route that you can use where it's not as heavily farmed, uh, especially on console because they don't have these map pins. So a lot of people don't know where these chest spawns are. So this is a route that you can heavily, heavily farm on console and actually be, you know, the rate, you're going to get some really good stuff. So that's what I would suggest. Um, you know, this is something, like I said, you can do while you're waiting for, for a trial group to start, you know, while you're getting uh, situated. And you can literally go from one thing to the other on your horse if you don't want to pick up the nodes or if you want to pick up the nodes and have you know more return for your buck then there you go like it's it's that good and like i said that's literally it and i think there there is uh i think there's another chest right here too that spawns here yeah there it is and like you can literally end your route on a high note and it's it's great 
So this is one of the farming routes that I have personally made my own. Oh, uh, look at that. Ring of Mother Sorrow. That is money right there. So that is definitely one of the routes that I have made while coming to PC. And I have actually used this route in console. And like I did it today while waiting for a trial to start. And I mean, I, I got a couple of divine pieces of Mother Sorrow and that's money. So it's something. But instead of just waiting at the way shrine, emoting and such, doing nothing, this is something you can do while, you know, you're waiting for a trial to start getting stuck in a queue and you can say, oh, let me go farm. Let me go farm this because this is hot right now and this is getting hit. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions about this route, just hit me up in the comments. If you have, uh, you know, a better route that you want me to put, just let me know of that route. I will make a video of it. I will give you credit on it and, you know, we'll make it happen. Thank you guys. Subscribe for more content just like this and have a good night.